Hello everyone, it's me, James Eon. Now in today's video, today we'll be doing another scary story Reddit reading. So, without any further ado, let's get to the story, shall we? Let's do it, let's shall. Alright, let's get the story. Okay, the title of the story is Cursed Doll, and it's by CNorm77, so if you can, if you can, please go to CNorm77's uh, Reddit page and go visit his uh, Reddit page, go read his stories, like his stories, share his stories, and please comment on them as well, please. Because it's better if we, you know, uh, it's better that we, you know, go to other social medias and share other people's content and, you know, help them out in their, you know, in their, uh, on their content creation and on their channel as well. Because, you know, it's not just YouTube that we need, that people need help here. There's other cha there's other channels on other social medias that people need help as well. So if we can, let's share the love, please. It's Halloween. Let's share the freaking love, all right? Okay, cool. So please, go share CNorm. And also, I'll leave his link down below in the comment section for CNorm's uh, Reddit page and for his story, The Cursed Doll, if you wish to read it yourself, if you dare. If you dare! No, I'm just joking. <laughs> But anyways, I digress. Stop. I'll stop being creepy. <laughs> Let's get to the story, shall we? And yet again, please go to cnorm 77s uh, Reddit page and please check out his check. Please check out his page, okay? Okay. Now let's get to the story. All right. Okay. The cursed doll. In the beginning, this isn't anything like Annabelle and might be a bit anticlimactic, but bear with me. My grandmother was Wiccan and could hear and see sense things that and that was passed down to me and one of my cousins. I've seen her and experienced a lot of things, but nothing really bad until my mom had gotten a little doll from Africa that she kept on the top of her entertainment center. Okay, well I can see where this is gonna go. I had bad vibes I had I had bad vibes about that doll from day one and told my mom a few times that she that she should get rid of it. Being the extreme realist she has always said it was just a doll, and she liked it, and it was directly from Africa, and she was staying where it was. Oh, skepticism, I tell you. Uh, I tell you. Anyways, I digress. Let's get back to the, let's get back to the story. It was initially just a sense of unease, but that feeling grew stronger to where you could feel the hate and, mal and malevolence this doll was giving out. It came to a head one evening when I was... When I was over visiting, this doll sat in the center of the unit looking out over the living room. My mom was at the far end of the living room and I was in the kitchen getting a drink when she went silent in the middle of a sentence. I came back in I came back in to see her standing and staring at the doll. What the okay, well don't know how that's strange, but okay. It was no longer in the center, but was now at the edge and had turned ninety degrees and appeared to be staring at my mom with such fierce hate hatred that even my mom could feel it. What the f- well, That's- Okay. She got as far as I- She got- She got as- She got as far as what when the doll fell off the entertainment unit and onto the floor. My mom let out a small shriek while I grabbed a sheet and threw it over the doll and called my grandma to let her know what had happened. She said she'd be right over to wait outside until she got there. Even getting to the front door was a challenge as this thing was draining the energy in the li- Wait, what? I gotta read that again. Even getting to the front door was a challenge. Really? As this thing was draining en as this thing was draining the energy in the room, and we were getting weaker until we got outside and things were a little bit better. Okay. So time out. Time out. This cursed doll might be demonic, then, or I won't. I don't want to say. De well, yeah, I'm gonna say it. it's probably demonic. Because if it's dr if it's basically making a person stare at you while it's being moved, while it's moving itself, maybe in a sense levitating, and you're having it's and you're having a, your total focus on this, as looking at you with such hatred and vitriol. Those are, for a doll like that, that's classic signs of demonic possession. That's not good. And, um, I'm glad they called the grandmother over because, uh, I've seen cases on TV like this and it could get real, 
real ugly. And I, I'm not joking. It, this stuff is real. That's why you don't... That's why you don't buy this stuff, and that's why there's certain people out there that only need to have that only need these artif that only need to get these uh, dolls so that they can you know put them in certain places where they can't ever get out, like you know like Zach Bagan's uh, haunted museum. People take their haunted dolls there so they can put them there and they don't ever get out ever again. And trust me, there's some there that are, would make your skin literally go pale white. I'm not joking. So that's why you don't mess with these things. These things really can get your life up. And that's a lesson here. Do not get haunted dolls. Ever. I digress. Now let's get back to the now let's get back to the story and see what happens next. Ooh. Alright. My grandmother got there about ten minutes and I followed her into the house. It was kinda it was kinda as my grandmother was a four eleven sweet little English lady with a little I mean with a sweet dis with a sweet disposition and never had a bad word about anyone, she walked into the living room and with a strong voice I never heard I never heard from her before. Alright, that's enough. She walked over, lifted up the sheet, grabbed the doll, and put it in a small beige bag she was carrying with her. She walked over to my mom and reverting back to sweet little old English lady. Don't worry, dear. I'll cleanse the doll and you won't have to worry any more. Then she got back in her van and drove off. Okay, that was... Um, I guess you could say that was anticlimactic, because that kind of was. Just... Did, okay, I'm just going to take your doll, cleanse it, and then when I get back, I'll get back. When I get back, I'll give back to you. And she just goes in her car and leaves. That's... I'm sorry for interrupting, but... I guess she was right about this story being anticlimactic at the very freaking end. But, I digress. It's still anticlimactic no matter what. I was expecting a little bit more, but I'm glad that there was nothing more because, as I said before, these things mean business, and that's why you never get haunted dolls. And this could have ended way worse than it would, than, than it should have. That's why I said, don't ever get haunted dolls. Ever. 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 Let's get back to the story. My mom was my mom was still a little freaked and my mom was still a little freaked out and spent the night at my place as there was no way she was staying at her house that night. Went to my grandparents' house uh, about a week later. My grand my grandma went up to the attic and came back down with the doll. My mom shrank back, but my grandma handed the doll to me. I took it and felt absolutely nothing. Okay. I don't know what she did, but she must have did something. Whatever she had done to the doll worked. My mom tentative my mom my mom tentatively took it and relaxed it's back at my mom's house now but not on the entertainment center it's on a bookshelf in a well lighted corner of the living room what the and that's the end of the story huh. I'll be well that's uh, pretty anticlimactic but I'm glad that nothing else happened otherwise it could have got as I said way worse so thank god nothing got worse from there and that doll is finally cleansed but as I said, don't ever get haunted dolls, ever. Ever. That's just my, my advice to you. You do what you do, wish, but trust me, if you do, it's on you, not me. So with that being said, that's my advice, and that's today, that's the end of my video, and that's today's scary story reading. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, leave a comment down below to tell me what you think of today's video and what you think of today's story. And please go visit C Norm's uh, Reddit page and please go check out his content on his Reddit page. With that being said, I'll see you next video. Uh, Influence week before me. I love you guys. Have a great day. Uh, never give up. Keep being you and keep being positive. I love you guys. All right, all right. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And get back to my finger. Hit. Okay, peace out, peace out, and peace out. Peace out, guys. I love you.